Only on Eyewitness News tonight, drowning in debt. You may think bankruptcy is the only way out, but when you hear a commercial or get an email offering relief, oftentimes it's a company promising to help wipe away years of worry. But before signing on that dotted line, a warning. Susan Hogan reveals why the Attorney General wants to crack down on a common practice by some of these debt management companies. We hear from so many of you who sign up with these debt management companies only to end up deeper in debt. Knowing what you're getting into before signing up could mean the difference between debt free and bankruptcy. The bills keep piling up but the money just isn't there. Back in 2008, um, just got over my head in my credit cards. Desperate to be debt free, Amy Breen from Woonsocket signed on with a law firm and what the person on the other line promised was music to Amy's ears. Promises were that they were going to take over all my credit cards, that I was to receive no calls from creditors. Over the years, Amy's debt did slowly begin to go down, but then out of nowhere, she was sued. I was served by one of my credit cards to go to court, and I called the lawyer, you know, to say, okay, what, what, next, what do I do? But what happened next for Amy is what the Attorney General has a big problem with. This national firm helping her manage her debt referred her to a local attorney to act as her coach, prepping her to go to court to represent herself. But Amy, like hundreds of other consumers, never actually met her attorney. I was very scared. I've never been to court before. And he advised me that he would um, tell me what to say, but he couldn't come with me. It's not specific, it's generic, and, and that is what's utilized. And they really don't have any attorney-client relationship with the person who um, is now getting sued who has the debt. It's a practice known as ghostwriting, and Kill Martin and other consumer advocates believe it just should not be allowed. And that's the question. The attorney, who is the local attorney representing? The consumer, or is the local attorney really trying to protect the interest of the company and that's the big issue. Right now there's been a superior court decision that says ghostwriting should not be allowed in Rhode Island. The issue heads over to the state Supreme Court next. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.